Amari Stoudemire, the clueless, foolish Israelite who should speak less and dribble. Now, before I proceed, Amari Stoudemire has a video out that's going viral about saying if you're down for what Hamas have done by kidnapping children and things of that nature, which morally, that's not right. It don't matter what race, what gender, what tribe, like he said, right? Okay, I understand. But fool you, what was your energy about how we were put on, on on ships and brought here in chains? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you not from America? Were you not brought were your ancestors not brought here that way? What about being living in the in, in the stables with the livestock during hardcore bondage? Matter of fact, what about in America, the same country that you play basketball in? What about when they had the Spanish speaking brothers and sisters down there in cages? Huh? What was the uproar for that? Right? But in one breath, you will speak about how it's wrong what Hamas is doing, which I understand, but it's still prophecy. But then again, you also had an issue about them saying that we benefited from slavery here in America. See, you're speaking out of both sides of your mouth and you're not even making any sense. Like, What side are you, quote unquote, on and what really is your issue? But I'm here to speak on some things that you that you say that I'm going to use scriptures to to back up my claim on why you should just be quiet and just be a basketball player. Now, granted, I understand you move to the the um the Holy Land and you have dual citizenship. Congratulations. So that make you an Israeli, which means a, a, a citizen of the land and inhabited. But little do you know, you are an Israelite, meaning that you are descended from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob by the lineage. But you're going to those who are in that land to learn their customs, which is Judaism, which is what he's learning. And one thing I say, I will never attack a person for what they believe, but I will will always attack what they believe, regardless of how they feel. There's a difference. There's no disrespect in me disproving or proving my point rather than personally attacking someone. But in this point, I'm not attacking him. I say he's clueless and foolish because he really don't know what he's talking about. But without further ado, let's get into the clip. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ravacha, Kodash. Double honor to my elders at Great Millstone, talking the truth, sing honor to the elect, peace and bless to the one third and the four corners of the earth, because it's not all about color, but that is the premise when you're talking about who the Lord's people are and how they look. Let's get to it. So Amari Stoudemire is an ex-NBA star and he had this to say regarding what happened in Israel. I woke up, man, this morning with some disturbing news out of Israel that Hamas kidnapping children, putting them in cages, killing women, killing the elderly. That's some cowardly. That's cowardly. Ezekiel 9 and 6, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and began at my sanctuary, which is his people. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. This is heavy right now. So you say it's cowardly to do that, but the Lord even told the angels to slay utterly old and young men, women, and children. The Lord have no respect to persons in judgment. Bro, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you even learning? You say you read the Torah, right? You're going to say that later on in this video. Exodus 15 and 3. This is a part of the Torah, the first five books of Moses. The Lord is a man of war. Yahweh is his name. Yeah, that's his name. Not Hashem. Hashem just means the name. His name is Yahweh. Now, with that, with that being said, the Lord is a man of war. What's waging right now over there? War. Man, get out your feelings, man. You you don't know the scriptures, my guy. One thing I will give you, though, you have a, you have a zeal. The Lord said they have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. That's the difference. And for all y'all Black Lives Matter who ain't saying nothing, well, let me figure out exactly what happened before I say anything. Fuck you. Figure out what? It ain't never been cool to kidnap kids and put them in cages. Ain't never been cool to kill women and, and elderly. Never been. No matter where you from, what you represent, what tribe you for, don't matter. There ain't never been no cool. There ain't never been none that nobody supported. And then you go and hide and put the kids in front of you as a barricade. 
That's some coward. All you politicians who always have something to say on the contrary, I see you. F you. All you Black Lives Matter people who always have something to say and always support everything else and you quiet now, f you too. Only place in the world where I can go and study tour and eat kosher food. Only place in the world. Only place in the world you can eat kosher food and read their tour. All right, so what about the, the small hat communities up in New York? Hmm? What about when Yom Kippur come around? Hmm? What about when the Passat come around? Hmm? You telling me there's no kosher food here in America? Stop it. And the Torah, the Torah is just literally the, the first five, if I'm not mistaken, the light. It's the first five books of the scriptures, of the Bible, the first five books of Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Deuteronomy, and you have um Numbers and Leviticus, I'm sorry. Leviticus. Then you have the Tanakh, which consists of the, the, the major and the minor prophets. The Lord said it, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Let me get that before I go any further. He, notice he said his people, right? Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I, I will also forget thy children. Hence, he also has his children over there as well. Like I said, he has a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. None whatsoever. Some coward, dog. And all y'all support it. F*** you. Oh, my mama, we don't, we don't respect none of y'all for that. Peace. Now, in this video, you're going to see him talking about the slavery that we had to endure over here in America. And like I say, man, he has no clue of what's really going on or who truly are the people of the Bible because you would have to look at the curses. Nonetheless, though, let's get into it. Hey, good morning, good morning. I woke up to some disturbing news this morning with Florida saying that they are gonna allow middle school teachers to teach students that African Americans benefited from slavery. That is that is so far from the truth. It's disrespectful and we ain't going for it. Santez, you know me, bro. I met you in Jerusalem. I gave you a bottle of start of my wines. And for this to happen on your watch here in Florida, it's disrespectful. Secondly, we never benefited from slavery. In fact, our history have been buried basically or covered up right and why i say that is because we have never been told who we are as a people first of all where do we come from we were called colored we were called negro we were called african-americans but what does that mean who are we who are we where a part of africa are we from where'd you guys pick us up from what's our dna so you gave ron to zonta some of your wine what you thought that was gonna mend everything Sarah 12 and 10, the Lord said it. He said, trust, never, he said, never trust thy enemy. As iron rusted, so shall his wickedness. But, so in other words, get your bottle of your wine, right? Did he come back and pass a bill saying any quote unquote illegal immigrant, when I say quote unquote, because if you are not a Native American or descended from the Taino or Arawak Indians or from the Aztecs or from the Mayans or the Incas, you will technically be a freaking immigrant. Right. But anyways, so he passed a bill in Florida saying that if they don't have papers that they can go to jail and get it like up to five years. And then also there can be like a hefty fine for the company that has them working for them, let alone who the hell else you think is paving these roads and doing all of this vigorous work that Esau would not rigorous work that Esau would not want to do what the Israelites would do, what we've been doing for centuries since we've been here. What do you think? The Lord said, never trust thy enemy. And then on top of that, you're asking questions about who are we? Also saying that you call us black. You call us colored. You never say who we are. The Lord told us that would happen to us. That's something that you don't understand because what those small hats are teaching you, they're not teaching you who you are, my friend. 
Yeah, they're not teaching you who you are. All right, listen to this. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 28. This entire chapter speaks about all the curses that will fall on the Israelites. There are many more throughout the Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So you're talking about how we went from nigger to to Negro to like color to Afro-American to African-American, black, whatever you want to call those by words and proverbs. Those are those are curses because they're not calling us from the tribe of Judah. So like Puerto Rican, which means rich port, that goes back to Ephraim. Dominican, that goes back to Simeon. And Dominican means dog. The word Haiti go back to the Levites, the priests. Haiti goes back to Hades, the underworld. Huh? If you don't think about history, they say slaves wouldn't last no longer than six to six months to a year there. Because they all would die. That's why they call it Haiti, because it was damned and like being in hell, being in the underworld. But then these people calling you a scholar and a scholar and all, you not no stop, bro. Stop it. So you asking them questions, we have the answers. <laughs> my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, my guy. Right. And also, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt in the Hebrew. It's pronounced Matazarium, which means double straight, S-T-R-A-I-T, which is a path of difficulty. So, Lord, I'm going to bring you back into what? Slavery, again, with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and shalt not see what? Our land, which is why you have, you, you're a dual citizen in your own land. Wow. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies, for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. When you look at the word buy, it means save. No one shall save us. And since we've been slaved into, into the into, to the world, the, tra it's the transatlantic slave trade, type it in, people, the transatlantic slave trade. Then just, just type on type it in Google and just, just just click on images. Just click on images. And when you do, remember, make sure to put map at the end. You're going to see arrows going to all the four corners of the earth. And that's a biblical prophecy as well. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Have you been to the welling wall yet? Man, let me stop. I don't want to make this too long. Man, boy, you better stop, bro. Right. Never told us that. So you're hiding that for some reason. I'm sure you have that in your archives. Secondly, anytime we have ever tried to benefit from, you know, society, whether it's working, building our own communities, school systems, busing systems and these things, there's always been a war in our community, whether it's Black Wall Street, whether it's Rosewood and what have you in the, in the early 1900s. And then later on with the new Jim Crow laws, you guys now imp implemented the three strike law where it says in the, in the Constitution that you, you abandon slavery except for criminal activity. And then you put in, then you put in the Jim Crow law. Now, I hope y'all can sense my frustration. I'm going to close out soon. Now, at the beginning of my video, you can hear him talking about the BLM. Why y'all ain't talking about this? Why ain't talking about y'all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't give a damn about BLM. For one, I ain't black. All right. And to hell with all of that. All that was a scheme anyhow. They got plenty of money up out of that. You are, we already found that out. It, it, even the Lord said, fall out of multitude to do evil. But now you're here talking about um, Black Wall Street. About us not ever having an opportunity to come up. You're talking about Jim Crow laws. The same people who you over there with, hanging with, parlaying with. Breaking bread with, shooting the breeze, whatever you doing, they the same people, the same ones that committed all of those things you just spoke about, all those atrocities. Oh no, these are different. No, they biblically, they all come from the same man, Jacob's brother. 
I gotta be careful what I say. But once again, he has a, he has a zeal. Oh, he surely has a zeal, but not according to knowledge. And also, in addition, you're talking about all the things that we went through and how we couldn't overcome and all of that. You know you did leave America to go over there, right? You know that, right? You left America to go over there, right? Hmm. Anyhow, I'm going to play him going over to Israel, and then I'm going to close out. But let me break out a precept before I do. Second Esdras in the uh, Apocrypha, chapter 6, verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which hath been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And the truth is being declared, and they can't deny it, nor refute it if they try. But honestly, this is not a personal attack at Amari Stoudemire. I mean, Amari Stoudemire, man, he was balling when he was with Phoenix, man, with Steve Nash, them, man. He, he balled when he was with the Knicks and everything. And honestly, hey, if the Lord put the spirit in him and he turned it around in his mind, his psyche, and knew that he was an, an Israelite rather than trying to be an Israeli and whatnot, I, man, I, I, I would applaud like the angels would, you know. But at the end of the day, man, you know, it, um, See ye indeed, but perceive not. Hear ye indeed, but hear not. You know, and um, this is a this is a clear cut example of two scriptures. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hosea four and six, and Romans ten and two. He has a zeal, but not according to knowledge. So with that being said, please edify and fed, stay in the spirit, don't fear it, just endure it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Shalom. The here, the church, this church that you see here, this used to be a church. Now you see this window here? I wanted to study history. I wanted to study a lot of cultures. And, and here at the Holy Land is where the culture actually started. I wanted to connect myself with it and, and really see what it's all about. Ah, this is the idea of the Romans. This is how the Romans and Greek people used to treat themselves. <laughs> called Dead Sea Mineral Oil. Supposed to help out with all injuries, prevent injuries. So I'm doing this for the New York Knicks, man. Hopefully I never receive an injury again. Mr. Dolan, this for you, baby. <laughs> it's been something I've been planning on doing for the past four summers. Uh, and each summer there's been an obstacle uh, that didn't allow me to go. So I think now is a great opportunity for me to come visit the Holy Land and, and it's been great. I'm a spiritual person, so coming here really connected myself with the spirituality of the culture and, and the culture in itself. Definitely want to study more and really um, focus on staying connected to the Jewish people. <laughs>